it's it's wonderful and it's also an amazingly strong year for female filmmakers and you know some of the films um, I'm just so proud to be in their company I'm thinking about things films like Tell and films like After Sun The Woman King it's just been such an amazing year for female filmmakers so just to get to know some of these filmmakers has been really wonderful I felt like it was an incredibly hopeful story about thinking about what kind of world we want to build not just what we want to destroy about a film about how do we actually create a world with more equity and justice in it um, and to look at the guides and the signposts to help get us there. I think we've done a lot of talking about the harms that have happened in the last five or six years and I think that's tremendously important but equally important is a story about what we want to build and that's what the women in this film do. They engage in this incredibly democratic exercise. They have to go through incredibly hard challenging things together in order to get to a way and a path forward. I think it's just about you know, people having access and, you know, that doesn't just go for women, it goes from everybody who's been traditionally excluded and marginalized from the filmmaking process. So BIPOC filmmakers, female filmmakers, people of all genders having equal access to tell their stories. And we are seeing some positive shifts in that direction, but we obviously have a very long way to go. It's amazing. Eric was my hero when I was a kid and he really protected me and validated my experiences later and he's just an incredibly warm brilliant human being and I'm so honored he came to do this.